Hey Ramp Broken World Entertainment and this should come as no surprise to anyone. I even forgot that the thing was even on. But Disney Plus National Treasure has been cancelled. Ah, And as I said it should come as no surprise because the thing was absolute garbage. I was trying to review it. I think I reviewed three episodes maybe four and I, just, I couldn't do it it was just oh my god it was terrible so exclusive there will be this is a deadline by the way there will be no second season for national treasure as disney plus has opted not to renew the freshman adventure series the show from disney branded television and abc signature is an expansion of the National Treasure movie franchise, told from the point of view of a young heroine, Jess, a dreamer in search of answers about her family, who embarks on the adventure of a lifetime to uncover the truth about the past and save a lost Pan-American treasure. Ooh. A number of Disney Plus, non-Marvel and Star Wars original series have been cancelled, after one or two seasons, including Big Short, The Mighty Ducks, Game Changers, The Mysterious Benedict Society, Diary of a Future President, and Turner and Hooch. I had no idea they had made a Turner and Hooch TV series. Good God. But yeah, the National Treasure TV series was trash. And every single episode they had to tell you that Jess was an, Ill an illegal immigrant that she can't get into trouble because if she does oh, she could get deported every single episode they were telling you this Jess you can't do that you'll get deported hey she can't go over there she could get deported it's like yeah we get it and <laughs> uh, the, the show was garbage. It, the story basically was she was growing up. Her father was killed, supposedly. I have no idea how it ended. Couldn't care less whether he was actually still alive or not. But her mother told her her father was a waste of space for her entire life. Um, that he abandoned them and all this crap. and Until she finds out he didn't. And that the... The father and the mother were treasure hunters. Uh, what's his name? Harvey Keitel was in it and they killed him off immediately. He was playing the character he played from the movies, the FBI dude. He was retired, they gave him dementia and they killed him off. And it was just a bunch of teenagers basically running around. It was horrible. It had nothing in the feel or the look or the adventure that the Nick Cage movies had it was, couldn't have been more different than those movies so it's absolutely no s surprise at all that this thing has been cancelled I think the most surprising thing about it is it didn't happen sooner or at least we weren't told sooner this thing could have been cancelled after the premiere for all we know but now it's officially announced anyway that yeah, this thing is gone they've pulled the plug on it they're putting it out of its misery because nobody was watching it anyway like the dialogue the acting the acting in it was horrendous as her friend the black girl who was like this hacker who went ahead and told Catherine Zeta Jones character who was the villain she tells her I'm trying to hack you right now and ends up getting hacked and is like oh my god this is one of these mad encryptions blah 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 two seconds later she reversed it on them she was like oh it was like good god it's horrendous stuff so another woke pile of dog shit has been cancelled and none of us could care less <laughs> bye bye to bad television so with that i'll leave it there for this one so cheers 
and I'll catch you in the next one.